President Bola Ametinibu is currently meeting with former governors of River State, Ezewonye Sonwike, and Kaduna State, Malam Nasi El Rufai, at the presidential villa at Abuja. The two former governors are ministerial nominees. However, while the former governor of River State, Ezewonwike, was screened and confirmed by the Senate. The nation's upper legislative chamber did not confirm El Rufai because of an alleged security report levied against him. The former governors arrived at the State House separately. While Wiki came at about 1.40 p.m., El Rufai entered the presidential wing of Asurok at 2 p.m. Sources also review that the presidential at the presidential villa that efforts are being made to ensure that the Senate confirms Malam El Rufai. Currently, the Nigerian Secret Police DSS and the National Security Advisor Ribadu asked Senate not to confirm El Rufai Danladi Okotete as ministers. The three affected nominees indicated in the DSS and NSA letters were a former governor of Kaduna State, Nasser Erufai, Stella Okotete, and Senator Abubakar Danladi from Taraba State. The Department of State Services, DSS, and the Office of the National Security Advisor Nuhu Ribadu sent letters to the Nigerian Senate urging the lawmakers not to confirm three of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu's ministerial nominees. The three affected nominees indicated in the Department of State Services and the Office of the National Security Advisor letters where a former governor of Kaduna State, Nasser Erufai, Stella Okotete and Senator Abubakar Danladi from Taraba State. The reports that the Nigerian Senate confirmed 45 out of the 48 ministerial nominees sent in by Tinibu after seven days of screening. The Senate left out El Rufai Danladi and a former deputy governor of Taraba State, the female nominee from Delta State Okotete. Top sources at the Senate told the, our reporters that the Director General of the DSS and the NSA wrote to the Senate President Godswill Babu, advising the upper chamber not to confirm the nomination of the trial. The NSA, Ribadu, and the Director General of DSS have just sent us letters not to clear El Rufai, Senator Abubakar Danladi from Taraba State and Stella Okotete from Delta State. The Senate President just read it to us now at the closed door sessions. He did not give it out to us anyways, one of the sources reviewed. The letter from the NSA and the Director General of the DSS cited security reasons saying the Senate should not defer the confirmation of the trial for now, should rather defer the confirmation of the trial for now, for national security reasons. The Senate President is holding the document sent to him tight and has not released it to anyone, another source added. Our reporters had reported how a group of protesters under the edges of Secure Nation Group, SNG, in Abuja, staged a protest on the premises of the National Assembly to call on the lawmakers not to confirm Arufai as minister. The protesters, displaying placards, defied the presence of security operatives who barricaded the main gate of the building as they chanted anti-government songs. The group also expressed surprise 
that Arufai's name was listed as a ministerial nominee despite his alleged religious colorations, which the group described as dangerous to the unity of the nation. They also noted that President Bola Metinibu's led government should investigate and prosecute El Rufai over alleged genocidal attacks on predominantly shy Muslim communities in Kaduna State. Also, it was reported on July 29 that some top Nigerian lawmakers wrote to the 10th Senate demanding the immediate disqualification of Okotete, who is a former executive director of the Nigerian Export-Import Bank, Nexim. The lawyers from Juryman Associates Chambers are Olatunde Hassan Esquire, principal partner and secretary of the Nigerian Bar Association, Ebe Branch, executive director, lawyers for justice reform and barrister Miso Nejo. It was also reported that the Code of Conduct Bureau, CCB, wrote Okotete demanding her pay slips from 2019, statement of bank account from the same period and loans approved as the executive director, Nexim, among others, to aid in its investigations into alleged fraud and abuse of public office. Meanwhile, in the letter to the Nigerian Upper Legislative House, the petitioners requested the Senate to properly investigate Mrs. Okotete over alleged massive corruption allegations against her round tripping and recycling of different loans and use of various front companies as proxies to defraud Nexim Bank of billions of naira and dollars. Also, for Abubaka, was reported about a week ago how Danladi was reportedly barred in 2019 from contesting or holding political offices for 10 years over forgery, though he dismissed the claim. A, public, a publication on the Taraba State website confirmed how Danladi was barred in 2019 from contesting or holding political offices over alleged certificate forgery and age falsification. Before the 2019 general elections, a high court in Jalingo had disqualified Abubakar Sani Danladi from contesting the election after it was found that he presented a forged document to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The case went on to the Court of Appeal before the election and to the Supreme Court after the election where, where the Apex Court affirmed the judgment of the lower court confirming that the certificate presented by Sani Danladi to the INEC was fake and forged. It was in the same judgment that the Supreme Court barred Sani Danladi from contesting any election until after 10 years. The Gazette, done by Taraba State, had read in part a five-man panel of the Supreme Court of Nigeria sitting in Abuja today, the five-day, fifth day of July 2019, and composed of the acting Chief Justice of Nigeria, Tanko Mohamed JSC, Mary Peter Odeli JSC, Olu Kayode Ariwola JSC, Paul Galumje JSC, and Uwani Abaji JSC have dismissed the appeal filed by Alahaji Sani Abubakar Danladi, the purported or progressive Congress governorship candidate in the 2019 Taraba State governorship election, which challenged his disqualification by the Federal High Court Jalingo. The Supreme Court dismissed the appeal for being incompetent and failing to meet the requirements of the law. Alahaji Sani Abubakar Danladi was disqualified from contesting the 2019 governorship election in Taraba State on the 16th day of March, 6th day of March rather, 2019, by the Federal High Court Jalingo, presided over by Honorable Justice Stephen Dalipo. However, on the 7th day of March, 2019, 
the Court of Appeal sitting in Yola and composed of Chidi Mwoma Owa, JSC presiding, James Shehu Abri, JSA, and Abdullahi Mamudu, JSA, granted an interim stay of status quo in favor of Sani Abubakar Danladi, which enabled him to stand for the March 9, 2019 governorship election in Taraba State. The Court of Appeals sitting in Yola has subsequently and still composed the above-mentioned justices later heard the appeal of Sani Abubakar than Ladi on merit and struck out the appeal for being incompetent on 3rd May 2019. Alahaji Sani Abubakar than Ladi for the appeal to the Supreme Court against the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which appeal the Supreme Court has struck out and dismissed today for being incompetent and failing to meet the requirements of the law. The judgment of the Supreme Court against appeal of Alahaji Sani Abubakar than Ladi today means that the judgment of the Federal High Court Jalingo, which disqualified Aladi Sani Abubakar Danladi from contesting the March 9, 2019 governorship election in Taraba State, still subsists and has full effect because, as it stands now, the Federal High Court judgment have not been altered, nor judgment have nor set aside by the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in Nigeria.